Del and Stitch Bird. Fiona here. I'm just going to talk about today about making your own drawstrings and the wee aglets that go on the end to stop them maybe fraying. And you can use these drawstrings maybe in a hoodie or around the waist of a skirt, shorts or pants or even make your own shoelaces which would be really fun. I'm going to be showing you a couple of wee demonstrations on how you could do this. The things that you're going to need, you're going to need some kind of um, either ribbon, this is just ribbon from the craft store, or you could do your own DIY bias, or you could use a piece of cord. And I had come up with another idea that you could actually use the t-shirt tubing that you can buy in lots of different colours. That would make a really cool drawstring. I priced some drawstring the other day and found out that it was $13 a metre. And I just think that's just a little bit expensive, especially when you, I need about 1.8 metres to do around for, to time, time I do a bow and things. So that's adding quite a lot of cost to my um, garment. Anyway, the other thing you might need is you can, I'll give you the link, purchase some little metal um, tips. Heat shrink tubing. Now this comes in lots of different colours, plus it also comes in different diameters. And there's a clear one, so if you didn't want to make it a feature on the end, you could do that. The other thing that I've invested in, which is fantastic, is a bobkin that can be split. So I'll show you that up close. These work really well for elastic, ribbon, cord. They've got little um, serrations on the end. So that makes it easy to grip. And then you just slide this down and it's really on there nice and tightly. I find I don't have a lot of luck with safety pins. Anyway, I'm going to put the camera down very shortly and show you firstly how to do the metal tips. Then I'm going to talk about how to use the heat shrink tubing. Enjoy. Next week, I'm hoping to do a, a YouTube um, video on my favourite pants. And I've made shorts and skirts from the same pattern. Made several and I just find they're so easy to make and easy to wear. Look forward to seeing you then. So you want to get your ribbon and you're going to fold it in half, wrong sides together. Then you're going to fold it in half again. And then you're just going to slide the aglet on the end. Now you want to make sure that you've got the base at the bottom. And then it's just a matter of getting the pliers and just squeezing the um, metal around the ribbon. And I've got a wee oar here, which I might need to use just to tuck it in. Any wee bits like that there that's fraying. I've also got some soft clothes ones, which I might use just to tidy it up. And then you're going to bend this other bit over. So they join up. Tidying it up, just trying to reshape it a wee bit. There we go, it's going together now. It just takes a wee bit of time, you just got to be a wee bit patient. And I'll just cut that wee bit off the end. And then we have our wee aglet on the end. Um, so this is just a piece of ribbon. So this is going to be um, to match the stripe that I've got going down the side of my um, pants. And I think that's just going to finish them off nicely. So I'll just do the other one. So again, folding wrong sides together, folding in half again, sliding the aglet on, making sure all the fabric is in. And it's just a matter of to start closing it up. That one's actually closing a lot better than the last one. And just using the oar to tuck it in if 
There's bits sticking out. I'm going to bend this bit over. Just tucking that in again. So these um, kind of um, aglets you could use on shoes, make your own DIY ribbon, DIY ribbon shoe laces. You can also use them on any drawstring. So it just takes a bit just to get them even, which I'm working on. That's looking pretty good. Any little fray bits sticking out, you can just snip them off with a pair of scissors. Tidy that wee bit up there that's sticking out. And we have the next aglet. The best kind of tool that I've found to thread ribbon are these amazing bobkins. And they've got those little um, metal um, serrations on the end and they help grip it. And this here just slides together to hold the cord in. I've had a lot of trouble with safety pins and they never work. So here we go, we just squeeze it together like that. And then just slide this down to make it really tight and it's really on there really, really tight and grippy. And um, I'll speed up the video but I'm just going to re-thread this through my pants go all the way around I find it so much easier with these bobkins they fit better you can use them on elastic ribbon cord any kind of homemade drawstring And this um, aglet that I'm going to make for these, I'm going to be using a special kind of shrink plastic. It's used in the electrical industry and it's like a shrink wrap. I'll put the correct um, links and stuff below. Right, here we go. both our cords through. Um, the one that's been attached to the bob kind of might just need to tidy that one up. Tidy the other one up as well. And for this one I'm going to choose a clear shrink. Now I normally just pick one that will actually just easily fit over. So I'm just testing this. I think I'm going to have to go for the bigger one. And it will shrink down half its size, okay? So, I'm going to do probably an inch, two and a half, 25 mils for each of my little aglets. I'm going to make sure they're the same size. Trim them down. Now, I'm going to try using it with a, a little... Um, iron just with the heat to shrink it but I'm also going to use my I've got both my cords through um, I'm just going to tidy up the ends because I get a little bit messed up in the process actually no, I'm not going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread over the clear shrink and I'm going to leave it poking out a little bit at the end it will fray a bit to get these on Now I'm going to do, heat it with a heat tool. You can use these in paper crafting or you could use a paint stripper tool. Something that's got a bit of heat. Right, there we go. I've got both out. 
and you can see them on the table. So now I'm just going to use my heat tool to shrink. You just want to just rotate it until it's totally shrunk. Now it will go down about 50% of the original size. And that's about it and then I can just cut off and tidy up those now I'm going to try it with the iron see if this works so if you don't have a heat tool you can use an iron that off there we have two amazing aglets that are going to be permanent. This handmade bias that I've cut a strip of one and three quarters. I've then folded it in half and then I've folded it towards the middle and created a bias. I'm just going to go and quickly stitch this together and we'll just say how this works with the shrink um, plastic stitched along the edge. I've cut my tubing about three quarters of an inch and just threaded it onto the end. Sometimes you've got to just fold your piece of fabric in half and just sort of wiggle it on. I'm going to use my heat tool again so sorry about the noise but at least you'll get to see it happen a bit quicker. Just keep turning it. until the whole thing shrinks down. Should be about half the original size. They just look so cute. So you could do wider strips, you could use thicker tubing. They look really, really cute. So imagine how you can make your own shoelaces, how cute they would be, even in a drawstring on a hoodie. And once they're on there, they don't come off. They shrink, shrink to the size, they don't pull off. Very cute. Try shrinking it onto a piece of ribbon. I'm just going to test it to see if the ribbon melts. And I'm trying a different colour just to show you. Basically, it's just how um, thick in diameter you need to be able to thread your ribbon through. So let's just give this a go. Imagine if I'd done that in black. I just did it in red so that you could see. Look how cute that is, shrunk down. We'll try it in black as well just to see the difference. So let me just cut a piece of ribbon off and I'll show you what you have to do to be able to thread it through. So here's my little pack. It's heat shrink tubing. Grab another piece out on a narrow piece. Do about three quarters of an inch. 
and it's just a matter of rolling this up making it really really tiny so I just roll it between my fingers to be able to fit it through the heat shrink tubing and then it's just a matter of just pushing it in and I sort of just twist it so you can see it popping out the other end so let's try this Wow. That is cute. There's the red one. There's the black one. Don't...